Hey everyone, it's Baldag Grey back with another nice video. So today I'm playing one of my genuine all-time faves, Act Tracer. Um, I'm just literally showing you a blank screen right now because I want to load it up from the start because even the first second of loading it up just gives me the chills. I love the theme tune, etc. So here we go. I'm just going to turn it on. And this is Act Tracer on the Super Nintendo. Love it. I not seen much now, but back in the day, oh, that was good. Um, so I could do story mode or action mode. As you may or may not be aware, this game is like a dual purpose game. So it's got story and action, you can choose either or. Story mode has got an RPG element and the action mode together combined. Action mode is more or less just like, as it says, the action, the levels, um, standard uh, sort of SNES platformer, but not standard because, oh my God, it is epic. Um, but anyway, I'm going to do story mode for now, just to show you. I'll do beginner, so it might be a bit quicker and easier. So, remember back in the day, these cost like £70-ish, which in today's money was probably like double that. It's, you'd probably be paying £140 for the same game today. It's just crazy to think about, because back then that was a crazy amount. But anyway, well, we managed to get it. Um, my friend Alex got this actually, uh, introduced me to it and I'm so glad he did because it's an absolute classic. So I'm just going to skip through this, I remember seeing this dude, so I'm just going to call myself R. So, ah, I'm the angel sent to help you recover your lost strength. Now, all types of monsters are in total control of the earth. This all came about because of a demon they call Tanz Tanzra, the one who sealed your power. So this is bringing back memories as I'm reading it. I'm just going to skip through all this, um, because otherwise you will just hear me talking quite a bit, which might be boring. As you can see, it's a bit of an RPG, and um, there's loads of different options here. Now, if I remember, it's Sky Palace Movement. Yeah, in the first level, Fillmore. Fight. Okay, fight monsters. Yeah, so if we fight the monsters, basically people are able to live in the land again. So let's do this. May luck be with you. I like that. I love the, the um, I think it's called Mod 7. Special effect. Snares, I'm pretty sure introduced that, so it's semi 3D graphics. Awesome, oh, I just love the music, it gives me chills, such memories. So yeah, I'm this knight dude, I can't remember his name. And then you get to play these cool levels. When you're not playing these levels, as you probably just worked out, you've got a bit of an RPG element where you have to like, oh, manage your people, food, buildings, fight monsters, weather storms, etc. Well, I've not played this for years, so I'm still getting used to it. As you can tell, it's very much like Castlevania and that book of game. Love the music, the music's inspired. Graphics are inspired. You've got to remember, 30 odd years ago, this was like state of the art graphics. Everyone was like, oh my god, wow, it's amazing. And it, it, like a lot of SNES games, holds up well to this day, to be honest. Still good graphics. There's a lot of games made, oh, made these days that don't even look this good. I remember that guy creeping me out. There we go. I remember that bit. I remember you had to kill him and that popped out of the wall. Oh. Oh, I'm doing badly. So you don't have to kill them all. You don't have to kill all the baddies, but there's some you do. I remember if you hop on these, I think it gives me help somewhere. Oh, it's going to take me all the way back. There we go. Okay, so it's a one-up. Not quite what I was expecting. I was after help when he got 2 out of 10 or whatever it is, as you can see. Um, oh no! Oh, poo sticks. Right, let's start again. So it takes you back to the start, as you can see. Like a lot of games of that era, um, we will progress a bit more carefully this time now that I've remembered what to do. Got 
fast reactions on this game sometimes. And you got to remember, this is level one. So games were hard back then. Probably don't look like it now. Oh, I like that timing. It's not always as simple as you think because the technology, although amazing, it's not like you press the controller and it reacts instantly. There's obviously a millisecond delay. These days, it's not even noticeable, but playing it back now, there is a slight delay which you notice. Oh. And obviously it creates issues like that sometimes. But anyway, more you play it, more you get used to it, muscle memory and all that. Oh no, go away. You know he's gonna stop me. <laughs> There we go, that's what I wanted before, wasn't it? What health? Not that. I love some of the character design on this game, it's awesome. You listen to the music all day. Oh, remember that dude. You have to like, oh, not like that. You have to time it right, we jumping. Gonna jump there, and here we go. First boss, I will die on this because I remember it's rock hard. You have to try and whack him, even though he's charging towards you. Sometimes you get specials, I think it's like a lightning burst. No, nope. um, but I've not. Oh, see what I mean? But I've not got any of the specials, so I can't use it. So luckily you don't have to go all the way back to the start. And it's hard to um to explain nostalgia, isn't it, sometimes? So basically this game, I'm playing it now and I'm like, oh, it's so good, it's giving me so many chills and the nostalgia factor and it's just so epic, but obviously it depends on your experience of it as well, doesn't it? But for me personally, this is one of the best on the SNES. It's such a good game. So you have to tease him a bit and when he comes towards you. And then when you come. Oh, but that's the thing, you've got to time it just right. It's so hard not to. And my mate Alex was so much better at this than me. Kudos to him if you're listening, Alex. No! See what I mean? You've got to do a couple of whacks, jump back, it's quite hard. So I'm going to give it one more shot. I'll probably fail miserably if I do. Oh well. So obviously the objective is to try and do it without getting hit whatsoever. So then you've got maximum health. So I'm going to try and tease them. Actually, I just remembered sometimes. No, I'm not going to risk it. I was going to say, I remember there was a little bit where he jumped on his head, go left, and there's a power up or something. I'm not going to risk it. So, yeah, a couple of acts, and then step back. Whee. Oh, and like that, if you take. One millisecond of a step on again, forward too much, you get punished. It's really hard to stop yourself. See? No! <laughs> I was doing so good. So, uh, yeah, that's me dead. Um, let's see if I can show you the kingdom. Observe the people. No, so I can't do it yet. Select magic? No, I haven't got magic yet. So let's just see city. I'm sure you can see it in other videos anyway. So yeah, check out other people's videos. Um, once you've done that, you can check out your villages, harvest crops, etc, etc. So you do a bit all around this world. Um, and back in the day, me and my mates were good at this and we all controlled each level, etc. And we got to, I think it was the last level, I never completed it. Don't know if my mate Alex did, but I know I did and I got to the last level. Um, and it's such a good game, honestly. It's hard to 
to explain how good once you get into it and show you on this video but trust me it's a genuine i mean genuine classic try it out for yourself act razor on the snares brilliant game so what would you give it out of 100 um hmm it's tricky because ironically it is a tricky game and a bit too hard in point at points so i'd say i would give it 87 out of 100 almost perfect game brilliant game but just a little bit too hard at points um the way you have to use the password sometimes it wasn't the best but again it's probably the technology back in the day sound is epic graphics are epic the variety in levels is epic bosses are epic um just everything about it is so good so I'll try it out see what you think let me know so i will see you in another video look out for a lot more nice games and have fun speak to you soon see you soon ciao for now